I've tweeted, uh, or re retweeted, uh, a tweet from Helen Gittos with a slide about Kent. Go going back a little while to um, what's going on with the MOOC, because pe people are saying, well, the MOOC is okay for techie courses and things like that, but it, it won't work for humanities and social science. But this is um, this is a slide about Kent University which is clo closing down certain courses, I think, or they're under review, and it's business computing, um, but, well, biosciences that are a growth, in the growth part of it. So I think it's, a gen it's a, just a general situation. The, the other thing about uh, the university scene, the innovation hub, I think we're going to go back there. We might go back there during the um, Wild Show, which will be between 10 and 12. I'm going to suggest it anyway. I haven't worked this out with uh, JD or Chris, but um, it worked okay during during this show last week, and I think we can maybe make a couple of trips over there. Um, it's over where the tourist information used to be, over in, over in sort of Southern Hay. Southern Hay Paris Street area um, because the STEM village is what I'm really lo looking at after BET there was a STEM village but the, this year but there's been a STEAM village in the past putting arts in the middle of science, technology, engineering and maths but they, they seem to have um, creative industry as part of innovation and that is relating back to extra culture when I mean, that might be today this is this is all I've learnt uh, so far but I think we'll go we'll go and have a look um, so that may happen during during the world show something like it will happen anyway well the, I'll report back on if you only listen to the drama show on the Thursday between eight and ten, there'll be a report about how how extra culture and cultural industries and innovation is working. There'll be some sort of news on the drama show next week and possibly during the world show this this week as well. <laughs> 